everyone i am maria thomas walpilli i am a seventh standard student of st teresa cdtss ernakulam today i am going to share the thoughts and images which came to my mind while reading the poem the echoing green the sun does arise and make happy the skies the merry bells ring to welcome the spring the skylark and thrush the birds of the bush sing louder around to the bells cheerful sound while our sports shall be seen on the echoing green the first line the sun does arise and make happy the skies when i heard this i could get the image of the sun rising from the east and moving slowly as it moved the sky became reddish the rising sun is making the beautiful sky more happier in the presence of sun the sky is always happy the merry bells ring to welcome the spring the poet points out the happiness that we get during the morning the freshness and happiness that we get the joyness that we get when spring season arrives the bells are ringing to give a beautiful welcome to the season of flowers spring we all love the season spring it is the season of joy it gives us an extra happiness the skylark and thrush the birds of the bush sing louder around to the bells cheerful sound the skylark and thrush are the birds of the bush these birds sing loudly the poet describes the sweet voice of the birds skylark and thrush are the birds who sing sweet songs now Let's hear to the songs of Skylark and Thrush. These birds are singing by listening to the cheerful sound of bells. We have already discussed about the merry bells. Skylark and thrush are singing by hearing the sound of the bells. The sounds of bells and the songs of the birds merge into a beautiful melody worthy of the season spring. While our sports shall be seen on the echoing green on the green nature children play their favorite games william blake shows us the greenery of the nature through the word echoing green these are the images passed through my mind while reading this poem thank you hi everyone i am here to share with you the visual images that i felt when i read the poem and a sound standard student of St. Teresa's CGHSS at Nagulam. Today, I am here to see the visual imagination of a poem, the Echoing Green, 
written by William Blake. Now let's look on the first stanza. The sun does arise and make happy the skies. It visualized the rising sun makes the sky brighter, making it look beautiful. Now let's look on the second stanza. The merry bells ring to welcome to the spring. Here we can see the visual images of the spring has come. It is welcomed with the ringing of bells. The third stanza. The skylark and thrush, the birds of the bush, sing louder around to the bells' cheerful sound. The birds fly around singing with the ring of bells. This visual image we can see in this stanza. Now the fourth stanza. While our sports shall be seen on the echoing ring. Here, while all these things are going on, the sports are going on the echoing ring. The fifth stanza. Old John with white hair does love away here. Here, the old John simply refers to an old man. And what here depict his final years of life. So, in the stanza, we can see this sentence. The next one. The sixth stanza. Sitting under the oak among the old folk. Here, the old John is sitting under the oak tree along with the other old people. We can see these visual images on the stanza. The seventh stanza. They laugh at our play and soon they all see. Here, we can see the visual images of all of them laugh at the play of children. The eighth stanza. Such, such were the joys when all girls and boys. Here, he is trying to draw away his world. The next stanza. In our youth time were seen on the echoing green. Here, he is trying to draw away his world as he watches the children at play. The old people think of their younger days. They were also on the echoing green in their youth. The next stanza. Then the little ones worry, no more can be merry. Here, the children get tired and no one can enjoy. The next stanza. The sun does descend and our sports and our sports have an end. This it is a time when the sun is about to descend. Darkness about to come. All of the children stop playing and go back to home. This visual image we can see on the stanza. The next one. Round the laps of their mother, many sisters and brothers. It means they sit on the laps of their mother, brothers and sisters. The next stanza. Like birds in their nets are ready for rest. We can see the visual images that like the bird, chicks float around their mother. In the nest, it's time for a rest as it's right now. We can see this visual image. The last stanza. And sports no more seen on the echoing ring here. Now there is no more sport and no more spawn. The green fields are covered with darkness. The three stanza represent the human cycle of birth and death. My name is Ima Grace. Today, I am going to say about some visual images that come to our mind when we read the poem, The Echoing Green, written by the William Blake. In the first paragraph, we can see the sunrise, the birds in the bush, the spot of the echoing green. In the second paragraph, we can see an old man with white hair and sits under the oak. Girls and boys at play. And in the last paragraph, we can see children rest in their mother's lap, the birds in their nest, the no darkness in the field. Thank you. Hi, my name is Anina Jobi. I am studying in 7th standard. Sister, Sister Niranjalangi says an activity to visualizing the event from the poem Echoing Green. Visualizing the event means we could see that a thing in live in our mind. So let's see what all visualizing events are there in the poem Echoing Green. This is our Echoing Green poem. The, in this 
poem we have three paragraphs so let's see in the first paragraph how much of visualizing events are there the sun does arise and make happy the skies the merry bells ring to welcome the spring the skylark and thrush the birds of the bush sing louder around to the bells cheerful sound while our sports shall be seen on the echoing green the sun does arise make happy the skies merry bells ring welcome the spring Sh skylark and thrush birds of the bush sing louder around cheerful sound this much have we have in this first paragraph the visualizing events so let's look in the second paragraph how much of visualizing events are there old john with white hair does laugh away care sitting under the oak among the old folk they laugh at our play and soon they'll all say such such were the joys when we all girls and boys in our youth time were seen on the echoing green so let's look how much of visualizing events are there in this paragraph old john with white hair does laugh away care sitting under the oak among the old folk they laugh at our play soon they all say were the joy when we all girls and boys in our youth time so let's look in third paragraph till the little ones worry no more can be merry the sun does descend and our sports have an end round the laps of their mother many sisters and brothers like birds in their nest are ready for rest and sport no more seen on the darkening green visualizing events are there in this paragraph till the little ones were worry no more can be merry the sun does descend our sports have an end laps of their mother many sisters and brothers like birds in their nest are ready for rest sport not more seen darkening green thank you